Good morning, everybody. My name is Adam Reinwald. I'm very excited to be here with you today. I am the Artistic Director and Managing Director of Contrai, and we're very excited to have everyone here joining us for a Give to the Max Day live stream. We're going to get a chance to play a little bit of new music for you today, uh, music from our most recent uh, concert recordings, and uh, some wonderful video uh, created by a collaborator, Sarah Langworthy, who's done some fantastic work with our video library. But we wanted to just give you kind of a little bit of a, a, a cheering up day on Give to the Max Day today. I'm sitting here in New Brighton, Minnesota, enjoying a little bit of the sun creep over the snow um, as, it, as it sits here on uh, Give to the Max Day in Minnesota, a very special day of generosity. We're very glad to have uh, a wonderful group of generous folks already with us this morning. Uh, today for Give to the Max Day, our goal in our 35th season this year is to raise 3500 $3, dollars that's approximately $100 per 35 people. And uh, we encourage you to, to donate today to help us into the next 35 years of this wonderful organization's life. And we wanted to give you a little bit of an update. We're very excited. We are at uh, currently at $933 today. This is fantastic. Thank you to all of our donors who have contributed already. I'll put some of their names here on the screen. Thank you so very much. We greatly appreciate your donations and we hope to give you just a little bit of a, uh, an uplift today and listen to some fantastic music. Uh, I would say uh, let's more or less get right to it. You heard as you began the live stream today, a uh, wonderful recording of uh, the Liebeslieder Waltz's song number six from that set by Johannes Brahms uh, that was recorded back in the spring. Again, the video uh, was done by the wonderful Sarah Langworthy, who you'll see a lot today uh, of her work. Uh, we really appreciate having her work uh, alongside ours as singers and musicians to have a wonderful video artist like that to have along with us is just tremendous. So we're very glad you're here. Uh, we're looking forward to the rest of the day and I'd like to get to another piece of music now, uh, just a little bit of something from uh, that we already released this week. It's a lovely piece by an Irish composer. Her name is Carrie Andrew, and she sets this wonderful Irish uh, traditional song uh, called All Things Are Quite Silent. And a special shout out to uh, Anna Lapwood and the folks at the Pembroke College Choir who've been an inspiration for this. This piece has been in my brain for the better part of two months, and it's just lovely. All Things Are Quite Silent, the old uh, Irish traditional tune with a different setting. And this video work by Sarah Langworthy here has just really uh, brought the the, uh, the story to the screen in a very wonderful way. This is All Things Are Quite Silent. Thanks for joining with us today.
That piece is just so wonderful. I love it. It's been in my head for the better part of a couple months now. That was a recording from our dress rehearsal before our October 29th and 30th concerts just passed. And I'm very excited to be able to bring that to you today. Wonderful video by uh, Dr. Sarah Langworthy at Develop Play LLC. Just fantastic stuff. Thank you for joining us. My name is Adam Reinwald. I'm the Artistic Director of Contrai. We're here celebrating Give to the Max Day with you. And uh, thank you for your support for everybody who has given so far today. We really appreciate it. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are up to uh, about $950 this morning. Thank you to all who have given. Our goal for today in celebration of our 35th season is $3,500, $3,500 celebrating our 35th season. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, more concerts to come this season. And a little tiny bit about Contra's uh, founding history. This organization was founded in 1988 by Dr. Oxel Timer and some former students uh, of his up at St. Ben's uh, in Collegeville, Minnesota, St. Joseph, Minnesota. And uh, this organization has been around for 35 years, took a, a year off during COVID a little bit. And uh, I had a chance to start with the organization uh, last season, a wonderful group to be around. It's an all volunteer all avocational singer choir, uh, wonderful chamber choir. Right this year, we're at 35 voices, again, fitting into our, our 35 theme uh, this year. And uh, they, they come from all different walks of life and meet on Sunday nights up here in New Brighton uh, from 6 o'clock to 8.30, working diligently uh, on uh, three concert programs this season, as well as a recording. We just finished our October concerts. Um, we have two singers in the choir that were at the founding of this organization, um, to our two wonderful sex leaders, uh, Marianne and John, and a handful of folks that have been around for uh, anywhere between 20 and 28 years. Uh, then there's also a handful of folks that are brand new to this organization. So it's been nice to see how they've been able to uh, kind of fit into a culture that was decently established and and continue to grow the organization. So that's just a little bit about the state of the choir. Uh, we are currently, we finished our October concerts uh, without having masks on, which was great. Uh, we have, uh, by our policy, jumped back into masks the last two weeks as COVID cases have gone up. But now that they also are going back down again, according to the CDC, we're going to kind of move between uh, masked and unmasked rehearsals, just to kind of let you know a little bit about how we uh, run our organization. And uh, we're very excited to kind of have a number of things to show you today. Uh, digital uh, work here, combining a wonderful concert music with video is a big part of our strategy uh, for the future. Uh, as a small organization, it's a way to put ourselves in front of you online. And since Give to the Max Day is an online adventure, we're going to give you some wonderful online music today. Let's get back to it. This is a wonderful piece uh, by a Canadian composer, Robert Ingari, and it is sung in French. And it's a poem by Paul Verlaine, the wonderful French poet. Uh, it's a little bit esoteric, but it kind of talks about the setting of the suns and a lovely bit of uh, uh, some autumn leaves falling off of trees. And this is a wonderful opening alto solo by our alto section leader, Carla Joy Strand. This is Soleil Couchon.
Just a lovely piece there by Canadian composer Robert Ingari, uh, entitled Sole Couchant, or The Setting of Suns. It's just a gorgeous piece, especially in October when we sang that. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. My name is Adam Reinwald, the Artistic Director of Contra. I'm very excited you're here. Uh, we get to talk just a little tiny bit about what we have coming up. Uh, if you're welcome to play some uh, some things in the chat. Uh, we've got a little bit on, uh, you know, some, uh, some things in the chat here. Uh, go ahead and we'll respond if we get a chance. Let us know where you're tuning in from. If you get a chance, uh, it'd be great to hear from that. And we'll get a chance to talk with you online here a little bit. Uh, but uh, we've got a couple of chat questions if it'd be helpful to answer those. First off, what is your favorite Contri memory? Maybe you this is the first time you're hearing of Contri. This might be your earliest memory uh, of that. And if there's something from the last 35 years that rings a bell, we'd love to hear about it. Please place that in chat. What is your favorite Contri memory? I'm sure the folks uh, will have uh, 35 years worth of memories to share, but we thank our very much our Give to the Max Day contributors so far today. Uh, the choir is deep in the middle of rehearsals for uh, fantastic Advent concerts we have coming up December 17th at uh, Sundan Music Hall in St. Paul, uh, kind of a, a, a non-sacred venue for Advent with Contrai, which would be wonderful. And then December 18th, the next day, uh, Sunday, at St. Luke and James Episcopal Church in Minneapolis, 4 p.m. We're very excited about this program because it is curated by the absolutely fantastic um, um, Dr. Amanda Weber, uh, you might know Amanda from uh, any number of kind of things around town. She's just fantastic and has a lot, uh, a, a lot to contribute to the choral landscape uh, here in town. Uh, Amanda Weber is uh, the leader of the Voices of Hope, uh, an organization that uh, provides wonderful music and a musical outlet, artistic outlet, outlet to uh, the folks in the Shakopee and the Stillwater prisons. So we're very excited to uh, have Amanda be curating this program. Her job in this this uh, endeavor was to put the program together and she will be joining us on stage to sing um, some chant melodies she has chosen from the wonderful Hildegard von Bingen set, uh, uh, 13th century nun who wrote a bunch of wonderful chant music. Uh, she will be introducing each set of music with a new chant by Hildegard. And so Amanda will be with us uh, for this program, Advent with Contari. Uh, she has chosen to call this a Magnificat program. Uh, my soul doth magnify the Lord uh, for the holiday season. And so we're very excited about about that. Amanda is just wonderful and will be joining us for those concerts coming up it, at Advent. And I just wanted to give you just a little tiny bit of a preview of what we have coming up for Advent. Uh, this is a, a wonderful piece that Amanda has chosen. Uh, here it is a setting uh, sung by, um, it's a setting of a wonderful piece by composer Adolphus Hale Stork, uh, one of the leading African-American uh, composers uh, from the earliest earlier part of the 20th century. And this recording is uh, by uh, the Nathaniel Debt Corral, a wonderful organization uh, that uh, continues along and we get a chance to sing this piece. It's called A Carol for All Children. The aspect of social justice is definitely a part of this Advent with Contrary program and we're very excited to do so. Uh, this is chosen by Amanda Weber. Uh, take a little listen to this fantastic recording by the Nathaniel Debt Corral. Peace and 
Just a gorgeous piece there from the Nathaniel Dead Chorale, uh, Carol for All Children by Adolphus Hale Stork. That will be on our next uh, our, our next uh, concert coming up, Advent with Contrai, curated by the wonderful Dr. Amanda Weber. Let's get back to a little bit of music. My name is Adam Reinwald. I'm here uh, enjoying a nice uh, nice Thursday Give to the Max Day with you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll have a chance to listen to some more music by Contrai. Uh, we're excited to uh, share this video put together by the wonderful Sarah Langworthy again uh, from our most recent concert production here at the end of October. This is a wonderful piece that we also sang at Advent for Contrai last year. It is, uh, it is called Amo by a uh, young composer, Nico Gutierrez from Texas. Uh, it's a beautiful setting of a Spanish poem that talks about all the people that, that I have left or have left me. I think of them sometimes and smile. I love them. Amo. This is a beautiful piece conducted by our assistant conductor, Tony Rengel. <laughs>
Just a beautiful piece by Nico Gutierrez there, Amo. We've had the chance to do that for a couple of programs now. Uh, just a lovely piece conducted by our assistant conductor, Tony Rangel. Tony, wonderful work with that. Just gorgeous piece. I love them. I, even if they have left me, I sometimes think of them and smile, and I love them. That's great. Uh, happy to be here with you today. My name is Adam Reinwald. I'm the artistic director of Contra. A little Give to the Max Day live stream, releasing some new, uh, new video content for you all today. Uh, Contra has had a very busy fall already. Uh, we have we started our season on September 10th with our retreat day and had a wonderful Contra Fest. Uh, singers brought friends and family to a little get-together outside uh, in Columbia Heights next to a rehearsal venue uh, for uh, just a little preview concert uh, of what's coming up and to say thank you to them. We ex are excited to bring you Contra Fest every fall uh, next year, hopefully a little bit uh, increasing in size, which is great. Uh, we have also, uh, along with our October concerts, we had a chance to uh, perform with Beer Choir Twin Cities last weekend. Uh, we were the choir on tap, uh, which meant that we got to sing a little bit at the venue. We were at Fulton Brewing and had a wonderful time with all the folks at Beer Choir Twin Cities. Uh, Contra sang very well and enjoyed ourselves, and it was great to kind of be in front of a, a, a movable audience that day, and we were very excited to be there. Uh, one of the pieces that we sang as a preview at Contrai Fest this year uh, was a beautiful piece. Uh, it's a relatively new piece by uh, a, a British composer named Ken Burton. Ken uh, has often uh, composed a lot of settings and arrangements of spirituals, but this piece is um, a truly unique original piece. It's a lovely paraphrase uh, uh, of a of a of a. Uh, a bit of text that you will know when you hear it. Um, Come unto him, may will give you rest. It's a, just a gorgeous piece. Uh, again, a setting by video on video by uh, the wonderful Sarah Langworthy. And here is Rest by Ken Burton.
A beautiful piece by Ken Burton there. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today, everybody. We're very glad to have you with us. My name is Adam Reinwald. I'm the Artistic Director of Contri, joining you on this Give to the Max Day. A special thank you to everyone who has donated. We really appreciate it. I'm just going to run a few of those there. Uh, thank you so much. In fact, in that last piece you heard at the very end, a beautiful crystalline solo by a uh, brand new soprano to Contra, uh, Jenna Palumbo. Thank you, Jenna, for your gift as well. We appreciate it. Uh, your gift of of your beautiful voice and uh, your financial contribution. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I also heard from uh, one of our founding charter members, uh, Alto and Skemp Cook, that maybe some of the uh, the coral tracks are a little bit low today. That's okay. You can always find them not only on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash MN, but you can also go to youtube.com backslash Contari MN to see all of these uh, all these releases, all of our video content there. We'll also post them rather frequently to our website, Contari.net. Contari.net is a great place to get all of your Contari information. Uh, it's a wonderful place to also uh, make a contribution today if you would like to. Contari.net backslash donation portal will work to get you an uh, uh, opportunity to help us sustain us through our, uh, the next 35 years. And just a little check-in on where we are at with our fundraising today. I believe we are up to $1,050. Thank you very much. Our goal this year on uh, celebrating our 35th season is $3,500. Uh, we appreciate your gift in any amount today. If you'd like to make a uh, $35 gift in honor of our 35th year, we are happy to do so. If you'd like to make a $100 gift, that means only 35 people need to contribute to make sure we get up to our goal. And again, thank you to all who have donated. Uh, we have a very exciting rest of the season coming up. As I mentioned, we're deep in the throes of uh, learning our music for Advent with Contari. And uh, also this spring, uh, we have a wonderful opportunity starting in the new year to uh, record the music of uh, a composer uh, with a very interesting background. Dr. Hyun Cook is uh, the first uh, composer of our first recording initiative uh, that's happening in March. Dr. Cook is actually a pharmacist by trade and was just recently, uh, he, he told me today he was recently elected to the National Board of Science in Korea. And uh, he is a composer in his other time uh, uh, while being a full-time pharmacist and just a fantastic composer, a uh, wonderful human that will actually be traveling to Minnesota to be with us for the recording. We're very excited because he has a list of unpublished, really unperformed works that we are going to be recording. A wonderful four-song Liberame set uh, that includes Dies Erre, Re Requiem, uh, Liberame, and a fantastic In Paradisum that we sang uh, on our October concert, as well as a Misa Brevis that's just absolutely gorgeous. Some really interesting writing from uh, Korean composer Dr. Hyun Cook, our first recording initiative partner. And our recording initiative is something that we're going to do every single year. Um, we will capture unheard works by choral, uh, choral works by living composers. Uh, following uh, next, next season, our uh, recording initiative partner is our tenor section leader, Jonathan Postuma. And I wanted to play a piece of Jonathan's right now, uh, just to, so you can hear some of the wonderful work uh, that he is doing as a composer uh, and as a singer in this ensemble. Uh, it's a fabulous work that was really timely for our October concert. It's called The Wind, and the poetry is by Ivor Gurney. If you know Ivor Gurney, he was a World War I soldier, um, and later, uh, after leaving the battlefield, wrote uh, extensively in poetry and in prose about his experiences on the battlefield. And in our concept for the October program, uh, that of a secular All Saints program, it's important to note that this, this piece really delves into the problematic um, uh, conflict that folks go through. Uh, when there is sadness and there is conflict, uh, there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, at the end of this piece, the beginning really talks about the difficult wind. All the soldiers could hear was the wind bringing potentially deadly gas. But the, in the morning after sleeping, everything kind of woke up to a, a fair and bright morning. But did we lose the wind's warning? And it's a wonderful setting by composer Jonathan Postuma. Uh, this is The Wind.
So very proud of the singers of Contrai for tackling that wonderful piece by Jonathan Postuma, The Wind, a uh, setting of Ivor Gurney poetry uh, from after his time in World War I. You know, I think it's, it's such an interesting thing to see a piece of music that is by a living composer that is, um, it definitely has, uh, it challenges uh, avocational singers, professional musicians, challenges us in a way that really begs of us to sing with wonderful technic, technique and and a wonderful understanding of the music, but also to find the emotional thread. When you hear about all of the things, the dreadful of wind uh, whipping through uh, on the battlefield, and all of a sudden you see the the, the clouds part, uh, you, you, you get a sense from these wonderful musicians that they get the poetry, they understand and how to sing emotionally. And that is what the best parts of Contrai are, singing emotionally with a really wonderful sense of musicianship uh, technique, but really putting the emotion on the sleeve. And I'm so proud of them for tackling that piece. Uh, you get a chance to hear that maybe next season as we record the music of Jonathan Postuma again. Thank you for joining us today. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, we're having a lovely uh, Give to the Max Day um, moment where we get to say thank you to you, release some new video content for Contrai, a big part of our strategy, uh, and, and get out in front of you online and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, to all of our donors who have given uh, this morning, uh, we are up to about uh, $1,250 towards our goal of $3,500 in celebration of our 35th season. And we hope to make that goal later today. Uh, your contribution at givemin.org uh, backslash Contrai1 is great. Or you can always go, of course, to Contrai.net and our donation po portal right there will be a great way to give today. Uh, your gift today supports us through our next 35 years. Uh, we're wonderfully excited uh, for to celebrate the 35 years that have come and look forward to a strong future with your support. So thank you so very much, uh, everybody who has given so far today. Uh, we've got a couple of other pieces to play for you, uh, releases that are relatively new in our catalog, uh, but we are looking very much forward to our spring concert coming up. After we record uh, these wonderful pieces by Dr. Hewan Cook, as I mentioned, as part of our recording initiative, you'll have a chance to hear them as the first half of our spring program, which uh, is going to be in partnership with a wonderful organization, the Twin Ports Choral Project up in Duluth, and their brand new conductor, music director, Ryan Degnan. Thank you for your gift today, Ryan. We appreciate it greatly. Uh, this spring, uh, we will have a chance to perform with Twin Ports Choral Project, uh, singing a truly momentous work. This is the Mass in the E flat, Opus 109 by Josef Reinberger, uh, which is right in the sweet spot for Contrai, a work that they have never, we have never sung, uh, but we're very excited uh, to do so. We have sung a lot of Reinberger in the history of this organization, and it is a truly wonderful piece. On April 29th, we'll be here in Northeast Minneapolis at Holy Cross Catholic Church. Uh, thank you to Sam Backman, uh, who will be helping us out uh, that day. Uh, he will also be playing a little bit of organ as a prelude, uh, some wonderful pieces by Reinberger as well. And the following day, we'll be up in Duluth at Weber Music Hall, uh, uh, really kind of in a concert run by the Twin Ports Choral Project, where it's a wonderful partnership to swap back and forth. The nice thing about this program is you also have a chance to join in and sing with us. If you would like to be one of the friends of Contrai and join us for this program, please do so at Contrai.net. There's a registration form right there. We will uh, give you the music with marked up and ready to go, and we ask that you learn it and join us for a minimum of five rehearsals to do that performance with us here in the Twin Cities and in Duluth. Again, that's uh, performances are April 29th and 30th. 29th down here in Minneapolis, the 30th up in Duluth um, on the home base of the Twin Ports Choral Project, but it'll be a wonderful opportunity to sing with Contrai, get a little bit of a toe in the water, see if it's an organization you might like to audition for later. Uh, no audition necessary here, just a phone call with me to talk about previous choral experience, but we're very much looking forward to our spring. All tickets are available uh, at Contrai.net, as well as your registration with the Friends of Contrai. Uh, and we're very much looking forward to that. Let's get back to just a little bit of music here as I wrap up uh, our, our Give to the Max Day live stream. Thank you again to everybody who has donated. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, a new donation just came in. Uh, thank you very much, Lori Bartz. You're wonderful. We appreciate it. Everybody who has donated, you uh, sustain us in ways that we cannot uh, uh, truly articulate. It helps every bit. Uh, so thank you so much. 
This is a wonderful piece of music uh, called I Am In Need Of Music, uh, piano uh, played by the wonderful Chris Milani, it's featuring Contra. Thank you. 
Just one of my absolute favorite pieces, I Am in Need of Music by David L. Brunner. A fantastic a piece from actually our 2021 Audience Appreciation Concert. I want to thank very much the singers of Contrai uh, for all of the time and effort they spend uh, learning and perfecting and polishing and uh making making a true beauty in this music that we put together uh, every single Sunday. So thank you very much, singers. Uh, thank you to the Contrai Board of Directors. Uh, you have uh, sustained and guided us uh, through transition and into this new world of digital, uh, digital platforms, and we thank you very much for all your contributions. Thank you to everyone today who has made a gift uh, to Contrai on Give to the Max Day. Today is just a, a little bit of a, a celebration. Cheers from us uh, to you. We hope that the rest of your Give to the Max Day uh, it meets all the, the necessary requirements that you'd have uh, for contributing to wonderful nonprofits and uh, and and sustaining them through uh, throughout the rest of the day. And if you get a little moment, please stop by contrai.net uh, slash our donation portal, and that'll be an opportunity to uh, leave us a, a contribution there, sustain us through our next 35 years, or celebrate the past 35 years as you see fit. And thank you again to everyone who has joined us today. Uh, a few of you have been on, and I hope to I hope to say thank you to you. Um, your wonderful work has uh, has contributed already uh, fourteen hundred dollars towards our goal of thirty five hundred. And we hope to see you very soon at an upcoming program. Our Advent with Contrai uh, uh, concerts pop in on December 17th and 18th. Information at Contrai.net for sure. And if you enjoyed some of the videos you saw today, uh, we will release uh, new content uh, pretty much every month. And you can always watch those with friends and family over and over again on YouTube at Contrai MN or at contrary.net backslash media, where all of our media lives. A great opportunity to meet us there. We hope to see you very soon, and I'll be signing off here. My name is Adam Reinwald. Thank you on behalf of all of the folks at Contrai. We wish you a wonderful Give to the Max day. I'm going to leave uh, leave you now with just a little bit of music uh, that, uh, from our October concert. This was a wonderful piece called He Was Singing by Josh Schenk. It tells the story of Ben Larson, uh, uh, a young man uh, who sang in the Luther College Nordic Choir with our assistant conductor, Tony Rangel. Uh, this young man lost his life in uh, the Haitian earthquake of 2010, but his life uh, shows us, uh, in the short time he was alive, he shows us to be, tells us to be righteous in our gifts. And one of those uh, gifts that the singers of Contrai possess is righteous with their music. Uh, this is a wonderful video by Sarah Langworthy, tip of the cap to Sarah. Thank you very much for all your work on video, but enjoy. He was singing and we will say thank you very much and goodbye.